It was a critical test to see if Boeing, the aircraft giant, could put astronauts in space. But tonight, NASA and Boeing are investigating a major error that caused Boeing's unmanned Starliner spaceship to veer wildly off course during its maiden voyage. Channel 2 space reporter Roseanne Aragon is live at Johnson Space Center with what this means for the future of space. Roseanne. That's right. To put it into context, the goal of the commercial crew program has always been to have American astronauts ferry back and forth from Earth to the International Space Station commercially. NASA has cho chosen two companies to do that, to make that happen, SpaceX and Boeing. Now, SpaceX has its Crew Dragon capsule, which proved to be successful in its uncrewed launch, which happened earlier this year. Today was supposed to be Boeing Starliner's time to shine. This was no doubt a setback. But now crews are working to make this productive. Lift off. Relief. Engine at full thrust. It was a beautiful sight. Boeing Starliner crew capsule atop a United Launch Alliance's Atlas V rocket with a dual engine Centaur, a vision that took hundreds of thousands of hands. These are passionate people who are committing a big chunk of their lives to put Americans back in space from our soil. A feat that hasn't been done since 1973. NASA is turning to the private sector, choosing Boeing and SpaceX to make it happen. While SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule passed its uncrewed test in April, Boeing's Starliner crew capsule didn't make it to dock. We ended up in a place in space we didn't expect to be. While the launch system operated by ULA went off without a hitch. We achieved those separation parameters and in fact literally hit a bullseye. Boeing Starliner failed to initiate a critical step, the orbital insertion burn, which would have boosted the capsule in an orbit where it could rendezvous with the ISS. It appears that the vehicle was using a mission elapsed timer that was not the mission elapsed timer the mission was on. We don't understand the root cause of that. Instead of astronauts, a sensor-laden mannequin named Rosie and Snoopy are on the flight, now in orbit elsewhere. But what if the mission was crewed with astronauts instead of a dummy? They would have been safe. To be very clear, our crew would have been safe. Now the focus is what objectives they can achieve with the Starliner in a different orbit. Crews took over manual control. Astronauts say they could have helped too. In this case, we could have uh, stopped the RCS thrusters from firing and then entered the burn ourselves and punched the importance of manual controls. Have all the automation you want, but always have a way out. Always have a way out. Just how big of a setback is this? Jim Bridenstine said that he believes that both SpaceX and Boeing will have a manned launch sometime next year. SpaceX will likely be first. However, the U.S. will always be ready to launch from Russian soil if need be. As for the Starliner, they hope that they will bring that capsule back safely by the weekend. Reporting live from the Johnson Space Center, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.